not in favour particularly of dropping the kangaroo at their doorstep. I'd much rather talk to them and deal with this sort of in a reasonable way, obviously. Bathurst ecologist Ray Myadvesh has a dead kangaroo in the back of his work vehicle. He's taking it to the Bathurst Council Chambers to show the staff what's happening to injured and distressed roos that have escaped the cull up on Mount Panorama. 140 Mount Panorama kangaroos have been shot ahead of this weekend's car race, the famous Bathurst Super Cheap 1000. The cull was commissioned by Bathurst Regional Council under licence from the National Parks and Wildlife Service. According to Ray, this ruse's toenails show evidence of having run for its life. It escaped the immediate danger only to die of myopathy, extreme stress releasing chemicals into the muscles causing the animal to collapse. This roo is a female. According to Ray, it's unusual to see a female kangaroo away from her home territory, which means she must have dashed away in fear. Meanwhile, the familiar carnival atmosphere is taking over town. Racegoers are aware of the kangaroo cull, but it seems many believe it had to be done for the safety of the drivers. Well, they're a national emblem. They, you know, they've got a right to, to live. But if it, you know, it comes between a different strain of driver's life or a kangaroo's life, you know, you know, simple driver's life's more important. Okay, Ray. The argument for culling the kangaroos is that it's a safety issue, um, and you know, human lives could be lost unless they do this. What do you say to that? Um, show me the data. Certainly um, saying that 300,000 tourists up at um, Mount Panorama have been put at risk by driving around at 60 kilometres an hour by all the kangaroos is a pretty long bow to draw, Monica. Speaking out in favour of the cull, local councillor, Monica Morse, argued that it would help ensure the safety of tourists to Mount Panorama all year round. Outside of race week, the circuit is a normal public road with a speed limit of 60 kilometres an hour. Um, are the kangaroos going to put up roadblocks and attack people? don't think so. If you're travelling around the mountain at 60 kilometres an hour, I really can't see the threat to the public. Um, if you're travelling around the mountain at 230 kilometres an hour, I can certainly see a risk of of imminent death, but it's not necessarily going to be a factor of kangaroos, it could be any number of things. and Ray finally has an appointment to speak personally with the council's general manager, David Shirley. Sorry for leaving you behind. That's all right. What are you uh, attempting to achieve now? Uh, just establishing dialogue with council, I think, is very important. Um, let's see if we can get at least some sort of admission that they haven't thought this through. Meanwhile, Councillor Tracy Carpenter wants to know why this important decision was made by council staff without consultation with elected councillors. So I'm in a very difficult position as a councillor because council staff took it on board as an internal management issue and didn't make the councillors privy to their, their decision to cull the kangaroos. I've had um, endless emails from over, overseas from people concerned with wildlife who see kangaroos as a the Australian symbol and be you know amazing um, creatures and furry creatures at that and there's a, a huge um, cry against any kind of killing or brutality. quite pleased with how his meeting with the general manager went. He's happy to pass all of this on to David Shaw and make sure that things are done better. It'll be interesting to see what happens to the kangaroos next year.